Well, if you're wondering why I'm smiling from ear to ear, today is a special day. We have Professor Elaine Flock from Clover here to show us how to make a beautiful pull-apart wreath bread made way, way better with the use of clover cheese and a nice strong cheese, I'd recommend. So welcome once again to our kitchen, okay, Professor Vlog. We absolutely <laughs> adore you. We adore <laughs> having you here. Thank you. And we love you even more when you bring <laughs> Cheesy goodness, oh, okay. like pull apart bread. I love the breaking bread. It's got to be, it's, it's the ultimate expression of, of communal love, Absolutely. of sharing love. Yeah. I'm just thinking, I've got a Boxing Day bride with a whole lot of family coming over. I think this is what yeah. we're going to do. But um, so first of all, how are you? No, I'm very well. Thank you for being here. It's oh, lovely. We love you, Mary. <laughs> I was so used to seeing you out on the open road, <laughs> on your hog, you know. <laughs> Uh, so it's nice to get you on terra firma here and, and actually you. enjoy a bit of time. But let's get cracking. We've got an important okay. job today. We've got Lovely. to create cheesy wonder and goodness. Good. Um, so where do we start? Okay, we will first make the dough and okay. we will use uh, flour. We will add our uh, uh, yeast, okay. a small pack of 20 ml, a bit of salt and some rosemary uh, sprigs. Mm. And once that is done, you just mix it with milk. Okay, Good. easy peasy. Once that is done, now you start the work start because you need to, <laughs> to do knead the dough for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. And do it thoroughly and uh, have your hands washed before so that it's nice and warm. It always helps a lot. Okay. Good, so, and once that is done, you add your cheese. Okay. Good. So I'm not going to do it because you were so kind to actually prepare I, I my, here, my lovely dough. I was here dough. on so a you've nice seen it. slaving away <laughs> Thank you, Nicole, Thank you. our kitchen Thank fairy, <laughs> our food. Lovely. Um, I would say straight off the bat uh, that you want to use a nice strong cheese. I Absolutely. know what I love about the Clover Rangers, they've got That's their right. strength indicators on this, so you can kind of get a sense of exactly yeah. Um, yeah. what you're dealing with. Some people don't like a tangy cheese. I like the stronger the better, That's the smellier right. the better. That's yeah. the way that I grade my cheese. But Clover cheese manufactured using pasteurized, standardized cow's milk, offering you obviously very good quality and value for money, um, but a great variety of cheeses from mm -hmm. cheddar, gouda, tusses, white cheddar, um, to feta yeah. as well. We adore yeah. that. And we know okay. it's good for cooking and baking and even eating on its own. So mm -hmm. here we have now the ready dough. Good. So what we're going to do is, it has risen now uh, to I was going double to say, the size. That's, that's a lot that's of right. dough. Yeah. So <laughs> and that's key. So, yeah. You've got to let it, it do. Has to You've got to let yeah. it do its Put thing. it on a nice place. Just And these days the room so temperature is absolutely it's wonderful. Perfect. Cool. Good. So now we're going to just break it up into small bowls. Okay. And once you've done that, You've prepared now a lovely uh, uh, mixture on the side. This is melted butter. Mm -hmm. You add some uh, parsley to it and some garlic. Ooh, Good, so I'm going yummy. to mix it. <laughs> Good. And then you dip it into this mixture. Of course you do. Yeah. Of course okay. you do. Oh my goodness. So now that's all that you do. And once you've done that, you put it in your little tin. I'm going to give you another And one that is already done, yeah, and so then, you do it. Um, yeah, okay. okay, so this, so you... Um, and the idea here, so you, it's not one continuous no, roll no, of no, dough. You, no, you're creating no. as many beautiful little balls That's as right. you can. Okay. Um, and then you layer, layer, That's layer, right. layer. Just put it onto one another, and then in between, just to add to and to be more decadent. Of course. We put some slices of cheese, and that will melt. Everything will just melt, and it will become one gooey, lovely bread. If, oh, you know, especially if it's once it's warm and you take it out of the oven when you oh, put you it must apart, eat it it's warm. beautiful. I, okay. I like the fact that we're doing it in, is in a bun tin where That's you've right. got the kind of lovely laurel wreath. That's quite Christmasy. That's right. So you can dress Absolutely. it with your um, your rosemary sprigs. That's that's beautiful, but I, I'm just imagining, just do it in a giant pan <laughs> like this, um, because the little balls are going to create those beautiful little pull-apart moments. Yeah. So, um, more so opportunities. that is how it will look when it's in the It's dough. very exciting, yeah. hey? So very, very, this very exciting. Until you have oh. your, uh, then it rises again to double its size. Okay, yeah? so you've and got to let it rise right. again, twice. That's right, yeah. And once that is ready, you go, it okay. goes into the oven. It will bake for about 45 to 60 minutes, 180 degrees. And then when you take it out, that is your end product. Oh, I love that. The keyword here is clover to double three seven to eight. You SMS that. We'll send you this ingenious ingredients list. You follow that step by step, and you too can be creating your beautiful clover cheesy pull apart bread. Um, it looks spectacular. It smells spectacular. Um, before I reach in and pull it apart, <laughs> let's take a look at how we created this beautiful cheesy goodness. Oh, Clover cheese is for those who love life, where everything falls into place and melts away our cares. Clover, for the love of cheese. Made with love by Clover. Make this beautiful and easy Clover cheese pull apart wreath bread as part of your Christmas menu this year. It's so simple to bake, anyone can do it. Add one sachet of instant yeast to four cups of cake flour. 
followed by three sprigs of chopped rosemary, one teaspoon of salt, a cup and a half of clover full cream fresh milk, and stir to form a dough. Then knead on a lightly floured surface for 10 to 15 minutes. Add 200 grams of grated clover cheddar and knead one last time to combine the cheese and dough. Allow to rise and double in size. Roll the dough into small balls and set aside. Add a handful of chopped parsley to half a cup of melted clover butter, followed by a clove of chopped garlic, and stir to combine. Coat each dough ball in the garlic butter and layer them into a greased bun tin, adding slices of clover cheddar as you go. Allow to double in size, then pop into the oven and bake the bread at 180 degrees Celsius for 45 minutes to an hour. This is definitely the season for sharing, and what better way to celebrate the festive season than by breaking bread with the ones you love. Made with love by Clover. Oh, wow, that keyword again is Clover to double three seven two eight. I'm going to break the bread right now. Um, I've washed my hands, so I can do this, and I'm going to break off. Oh, look at that cheese, and it just pulls apart. Can I give you a little piece to taste sure, as well? I'll give you the best part, the, cri <laughs> the crispy cheese on the outside. That's got to be hands down the this. best part. Um, it just looks beautiful. It smells beautiful. Does it taste beautiful? beautiful Let us yes. find out. Is someone mm. going, yes, in the background there? <laughs> oh, my goodness, that is amazing. Mm. Okay. Lovely. So now I have to talk with my mouth full. Mm. That is cheesy, it's delicious, and you've got to go with a strong cheddar for yes, this one. Yes, absolutely. Hands down. Yeah. The garlic is amazing as well. And it's so impressive as well. I think that's the best part about this. It's not just bread, it's bread. Yeah. Um, I think it's going to look beautiful on a Christmas table. I Absolutely. think the, the wreath yeah. shape, the look of it, the taste of it, the smell of it's going to make your Christmas. And of course, remember to serve this with lashings of clover butter as well. Warm butter, warm bread. Oh, it's just going to be spectacular. You can SMS the keyword clover to double three seven to eight or to receive the recipe and it's going to cost you just one rand fifty. No free SMSs apply. I'm going to have another one I'm going to say. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Love life, where everything falls into place and melts away our cares. Clover, for the love of cheese. Made with love by Clover.